Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I will be reviewing the HyperX Cloud Stinger. The Stinger is a very cheap headset and it only costs $50. Despite its cost, it's actually a really awesome headset. So right off the bat, the Stinger comes in a very compact box. It is extremely small compared to your hands. And I lost the sleeve that it came in. So normally you'd see a bunch of words and stuff on here like explaining everything about the Stinger. So if you open it up, Oh no, there's no stinger. That's because it's like right here. But uh, anyways, usually the stinger comes in here and they make you dig through the wire, through the foam so that you can get to the wires and stuff. So the wire that's attached to the stinger itself only has one uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and it does both headset and mic. And so it gives you a one to two so you can use this for PCs and stuff like that. It also gives you a small little manual that tells you stuff about it and whatever this is. I didn't really look through this. So let's move on to the actual headset now. The Stinger is only 275 grams and it is extremely light on your head and neck. Like you don't even realize it's there sometimes. The ear cups, as you can see, can rotate 90 degrees towards your chest or backwards or I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, it makes it towards really comfortable whenever it's resting on your neck. So on the neck band, the sliders are made out of steel. And so far, I haven't had any problems with that. Like, they don't get clogged up or anything. They have little notches there so that it stays where it's supposed to be. Also, that's the only part of the frame that's made out of metal. Everything else is plastic, so that helps with the, uh, the weight. The Stinger has 50 millimeter directional audio drivers that help you hear better and reduce noise from the outside. So something that got me was this thing. This is the volume slider. It comes in at this setting right here, which is completely off. And I didn't realize that was there because on the HyperX Cloud 1, which I originally had, it had like an attachment to this and like two other cables and that made it really difficult to use. But this is just right under your left ear, uh, the opposite of the mic, and it's really good. So the mic quality is decent. It does echo a little bit on Xbox, but it's not like really bad because you can always just click the mute button. You do have to be careful though because it can become really bad if you have it on full volume, which I do not recommend. These things get extremely loud. Also, there's a little point right here that it'll click. And that click basically means up here is muted, down here is not muted. So that's something to keep in mind. These headphones also come with HyperX Cloud's signature memory phone, so it's really soft and squishy, and that also helps with the weight. So these headphones work with almost all of the uh, group chat apps, I guess you would call them. It works with TeamSpeak, Discord, Mumble, Skype, Raid Call, and Ventrilo. I haven't heard of half of those, but they work with them. I've tried these with Discord and they worked really great, so I know that they work with at least Discord. So other than the adapters that you need for the PC, uh, you really just need this for it to work with the Xbox, PlayStation, Wii U, and some mobile stuff along with the Mac. Uh, those are the things that it says it works with. I'm sure you can get it working with anything that has a 3.5 millimeter jack. So with Xbox, you do need to get this little jack right here. Uh, it's $25. I'll put a link in the description, 20, 25. And you plug this in here, and you turn it on by spamming the mic button a bunch. And then you can adjust the volume and all that stuff. It's, it's really great. With the newer generation Xbox controllers, though, they have a little spot on the bottom that you can plug the mic into, but you can't control the sound or anything. In conclusion, I like these better than the HyperX Cloud 1, which are 100 bucks because they're lighter, they fit better on my ears, they can swivel like this, and they're, they're cheap. The cheap part is the best part. It's a great gaming set for only $50, and I really recommend it. Links will be in the description if you want to buy this, and thank you for watching. 